Hello everyone how are you all welcome to my podcast sangrila with ila anant acharya thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for listening to my podcast liking it and sharing it thank you so much so today's topic is how your mind works from the very famous book the power of your subconscious mind by dr joseph murphy this is one of my favorite book i advise you at least once please at least once go through this book it is going to change your life forever it has changed mine and it will change yours i guarantee you so let's move forward so here is this chapter 2 the topic is how your mind works and it says that your mind is your most precious possession it is always with you but its most amazing powers will be yours only when you have learned how to use it as we have seen there are two levels to your mind the conscious or rational level and the subconscious or irrational level you think with your conscious mind and whatever you habitually think sinks down into your subconscious mind which then creates accordingly to the nature of your thoughts your subconscious mind is the seat of your emotions it is the creative mind if you think good good will follow if you think evil evil will follow this is the way your mind works isn't it amazing so uh, 90% of your habits and uh, of your entire human body all your control is under subconscious mind see think that if you are breathing you don't have to intentionally breathe it has been uh, taken care of by the subconscious mind so it is said that uh, subconscious mind is never sleeping mind it never sleeps it is always awake and it is taking care of you it is taking care of your body every time remember if you sleep it is not that you stop breathing you are still breathing and that is taken care by your subconscious mind is isn't it amazing oh my god so let's move forward the most important point to remember is this once the subconscious mind accepts an idea it begins to execute it it is an astonishing astonishing and subtle truth that the law of the subconscious mind works for good and the bad ideas alike that means the subconscious mind doesn't understand no even if you say that i don't want this for subconscious mind don't is cancelled out and it will consider i want this so that that happens to us when we say that i was not wanting an accident i was not thinking about it but the subconscious mind will give you only what you think or only what you want it will never remember the don't thing okay so if you say i don't want this still it will be given to you so uh this law when applied in a negative way it is a cause of failure frustration and unhappiness when your habitual thinking is harmonious and constructive however you experience perfect health success and prosperity yes so that's why uh, in my earlier episode i always advised you or i always just suggested you to think positive to think good feelings and to be grateful and all that things so peace of mind and a healthy body are inevitable once you begin to think and feel in the right way whenever you claim mentally 
and feel as true your subconscious mind will accept and bring forth into your experience that is you just have to imagine that whatever you want is already uh, been given to you you have to accept it and you have to expect it both the thing and you can see that whenever you are giving uh, considering that whatever uh, that you want whatever you are dreaming about if you continuously dream about it and you can feel it then the subconscious mind will help you to bring that in your life all you have to do is get your subconscious mind to accept your idea once that happens the law of your subconscious mind will bring forth the health peace and prosperity you desire you give the command or decree and your subconscious will faithfully reproduce the idea impressed upon it and the law of your mind is this the reaction or response you get from your subconscious mind will be determined by the nature of the thought or idea you hold in your conscious mind so uh, for today's episode i'm going to wrap up over here but uh, i'll continue with that because this is a very interesting topic you will love to hear about this much more and just consider this that conscious and subconscious mind but subconscious mind is going to uh, bring your all the dreams come true okay so wait for my next episode thank you thank you so much bye